I want to bring in Maureen Wirtz right now, who is our hometown storyteller. Now, Maureen, <laughs> when you talk about why people love to be able to call Lincolnton home, I know we've already addressed that. Now it's all about the people, and the people are just so, so, so special. But this really does feel like the backdrop of a Hallmark movie, because when you get here, you just feel like, you know, you're watching one of those lifetime specials. The people are just so genuine and so nice. Um, for where I'm standing here inside the historic uh, courthouse, this is the old historic courthouse, so many shops and local businesses behind me. I just want to be able to point that out, because when you look around, there's like stores that you just never heard of and it's just because that local feeling is very much in the area air but I really want to talk about the people Maureen and I know that you have that covered as to why people make this place so special <laughs> Alicia Lincoln is an easy drive from Charlotte it didn't take too long for us to get here but once you pull into town something happens time seems to move a bit slower it's the business of counting. Hey, I got plenty of clock. Seconds. Minutes. I can start on wall clock and cook it. And hours. Every day surrounded by the sounds of time. If I didn't hear them tick and I know I'm not doing my job. Call him Father Time. Probably at least 75 anyway. Or better yet. Most time I'm the clock doctor, but I'm, um, you know. Ben Parker has been the keeper of the clocks in Lincolnton for 27 years. What kind of problem did you have with yours? Though not everyone has noticed. I've been here all these years now, but it just didn't dawn on him. It's a trade he learned from the previous shop owner. It's a challenge every time you go in a clock. You kind of feel like you're learning something every time you get in one. You may find something different. The sounds of his shop blend together like a chaotic symphony, one that sticks with him long after he heads home for the day. Probably all the time. You know, I even, they come up in my dreams, you know, really. He says he's a bit behind. There aren't many clockmakers anymore, and there's a lot of work to do. I'm really wanting to try to get somebody that would be interested in taking over. And while time may feel endless, that's not the case. Time just got away from me. The seconds and the minutes are the same. Like doing what you're doing, you never work a day in your life. Yeah. But how they are spent is what matters. So Ben says he'll keep on working on, on clocks as long as he can, but it can't be challenging because every single clock is different. And Alicia, you know the time just changed, so that was a lot of clocks. He says he has about 100 in his shop, so that was a lot <laughs> to turn to change. But, you know, it was really neat just talking to him and listening to the sounds of 100 clocks going off, so it was kind of fun.